Greetings people, it's Jared here, Wolfcam one back to do another Transformers review and today I've got an absolute beauty for you. Now this was requested uh, again by Marcus Prime because he does love a suspicious little piece of shit, doesn't he? So without further ado, we are going to be taking a look at uh, a figure I've actually wanted to do for a little while because I've painstakingly put it all back together with varying degrees of success, which obviously the review will will delve into. So let's get straight on into this, ladies and gentlemen. This is the review for G1 Rodimus Prime. So G1 Rodimus Prime, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's get this out of the way now, right? The, the, the box art looks impressive. It makes the robot mode look impressive. Um, but this actual toy is anything but impressive. Um, he is, I don't know why I like him, but let's get this out of the way. He is fundamentally a piece of shit, which I suspect is why, again, Marcus Prime went, oh, um, you couldn't do a review on G1 Rodimus Prime, could you? Because I've got fond memories of him from my childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dare say you have got fond memories, um, fond memories of him of your childhood, but you also know that he's fundamentally a piece of shit. You know that I've got him, therefore you want to see him reviewed. Very clever, Mark. I'm not that stupid, right? Well, clearly I am, because here I am. Um, so um g1 rodimus prime so i've i've put this guy back together in some senses quite literally um over the course of the last few years i got the box from uh, tfn um someone uh helen bought that for me thank you very much helen um the, the the figure i put back together over time with parts instruction booklets and and, and everything like that and in some cases i've had to actually repair the figure itself didn't do a fantastic job, but actually I, I, it could have been worse. Um, the box is a seen better days, but then against the original box, the uh, the bubble insert and everything like that is reproduction. And uh, it's got a fantastic, one of the best fucking battle scenes on the back of this. Um, now, this, this figure for me is a bit of a hodgepodge because I've got reproduction parts for it. I've got parts that I'm not entirely sure went with it um or would have come with it but do you know what i'm not going to lose any sleep over that quite frankly as far as i'm concerned i've got a 100 percent complete rodimus prime this this artwork though this this battle is absolutely fucking great the the old the old school toys really knew how to fucking pull it out of the bag when it when it came to this this sort of stuff um uh so yeah that, that's uh rodimus in his box um yeah i mean to be honest there's not really a lot to say about it in the box apart from the fact it's got the uh the moron guide on the top of it um and yeah the, bo the box artwork it, it it just looks fantastic there's something about these boxes that invokes a very very particular sense of nostalgia um it goes i think it goes beyond nostalgia it goes almost to the point where you you're almost living that era again not just harking back to it and thinking back to it you're for a moment you're almost there again which is um which is incredible let's take a look at some of the stuff that Rodimus came with um it would have come with one text spec decoder um so to read his text specs basically um would have come with one instruction booklet showing you uh the dizzy heights and details of the transformation and the stuff that it would have come with as well i haven't got a label sheet for it because i've already replaced replaced the labels for him um he would have come with a product book now i've got a product book here for the um the era of the headmasters and rodimus was still being sold where is he where is he? Where's the fat nugget? There we are. Rodimus was still being sold in the Headmasters era. Um, now, I don't know whether um, this would have been the original product sheet for this or whether or not there was one that came before. I'd, I'd have to do some research. Um, but this is the only one I've got that actually um, shows Rodimus Prime being sold in that era. So I'm using that for the time being as a, as a guide for a product sheet that you would have come with. He came with one very, very long blaster. Um, which was faithfully reproduced in the cartoon. Um, and he would have come with two of these. Now, these are the blast shields that connect to his trailer battle deck mode thing, except uh, my one didn't have them, so I have bought some reproduction ones. The problem is these reproduction ones don't fucking fit, right? So I've had to try filing it down. Now, I can just about get this one in, Right, but I've had no luck trying to get the others in and filed down. I've got more than two. I think I've got about four. I don't know where the other two are. So for the purpose of this review, I'm not going to be able to show these blast shields as they're intended to be. I'll be able to show one of them. That's about it. Okay, so don't get too excited by these pieces of shit just here. These are just basically at this point a guide to show what you would have come with. All right. So with that out of the way, 
we're back to back in G1 Rodimus in his um in his glory 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 box. Um, yeah, the the artwork is fantastic. The uh, just just the whole setup of these things is just is just fucking great for me. Um, hence why I wanted to try and restore as many of my G ones to this condition as possible. Though I do appreciate as the lines went further and further and the packaging became less and less, the chances of doing that are somewhat remote. But a man can dream. And the best thing about this is this 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 particular toy, well, not this toy, this box and the toy that it would have come with was bought in Tesco's for £9.95. Now, <laughs> you try getting a fucking G1 boxed complete Rodimus Prime, right, for £9.99, and I will take my hat off to you and suck your cock. Right, because I promise you, it's never going to happen again. The, these fucking days here are long behind us, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so with that intro out of the way, right, let's get straight on in and show off the figure itself. Okay, so here's G1 Rodimus in his uh, futuristic Winnebago mode. Um, now, it's always struck me as interesting, that, um, and people just assume it's a Winnebago. I can't say that it, it's not supposed to be uh, a Winnebago. And I think it's just generally accepted that that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's always struck me as amazing that no one's has ever, ever attempted at any point to try and make one of these, like sort of make a customised Winnebago and recreate this in real life. Because in real life, this would look fucking great. Let's not, let's not, you know, pretend it wouldn't. Um, the figure is decades old now. So obviously we've got, We've got the obligatory chromeware just on the um, on the accentuated smokestacks there. I've got um, silver paintware on the front wheel there. Middle one's all right. The back one's looking a bit dodgy. Um, not too bad on this side. Um, slightly more chromeware on this side on on the um, on the smokestacks. So he has been rep labelled. Um, so. I've I've taken liberties with some of some of the stickers. I've added some stickers that weren't supposed to be included overall. So he's got his name at the back. I've got I don't know where I got these two from. Prowl or Trail. I think tra a spare set for Trailbreaker. There's an all but symbol on the back. Um, I even added some little ones here. I'm not sure where the fuck they came from. Probably another Trailbreaker set. Um, yeah, and that's the uh, futuristic Winnebago mode. Um, and this, for me, right now, I'm I may be in a minority here. I don't know, but this is where the enjoyment starts and promptly ends, right? Because in this mode, Rodimus is all kinds of fucking awesome. Let Let's not pretend that he isn't, right? I th I think what lets Rodimus down most of all is everything that comes after this point. So the transformation process and the uh, finalised robot mode both leave a lot to be desired and do smack a little bit of, yeah, whatever, on the designers on the toy designer's part, okay? Um, when I bought this Rodimus off eBay, I thought he was in pretty good condition. Funnily enough, I was promptly proven wrong. Um, and the reason for that is I opened up the combat deck section just here and one of these panels came right off in my hand because there was no bar holding it together like on the like sort of inside where the the hinges the the hinge bar disappeared so i've actually had to replace that with a piece of um stiff wire um and now it works fine although when i do open up the combat deck you'll see what a fucking bodge job i made of that it just about fucking worked for the purpose of the toy okay that is about it so i've got tea and tea is life as we all know um so as a result, when I reprolabeled this guy, you'll notice that this back section here kind of looks like I've put the um, stickers on uneven. I haven't. All I've got to do is push that together, and, and you can even see just here there's a gap where that's not sitting as flush as it should do. Fuck all I can do about that. Um, but they're, they're actually supposed to um, line up properly, and weirdly enough, they lined up properly when I first stickered it, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, this, this section here has moved and now it no longer lines up. But that's a minor gripe for me. Apart from that, I was really worried about getting these stickers um, on and trying to get these lined up perfectly. It took a couple of attempts just to make sure I was doing it right. Um, 
but I'm actually very, very pleased with the result there. On the underside, well, you can pretty much see the robot on the underside. I mean, there's the legs, there's the hands, and all the stickers that correspond to the robot mode. I, I did move these ones just here on the feet. They were supposed to sit somewhere up here. I thought, fuck that. Um, I'll give the feet a little bit of definition. Um, yeah, and that's Rodimus. Um, he rolls, squeaks, but he rolls very, very nicely. Um, so I think all we should do now is take it to the transformation. Let me let me let me separate the transformation. Actually, let's start by taking Rodimus out of the cradle, right? And this is something else I want I want to say. Actually, it's a shame that every version of Rodimus, the masterpiece version, uh, the Kingdom version, blah, blah blah, they can't incorporate the trailer section into the transformation of the robot. Um, like it did in the cartoon. I know the cartoon took a lot of fucking liberties, a lot of liberties with their animation designs. It just would be nice to see one day to actually see Takara or Hasbro actually give it a go. It might work. It might be a failure on every fucking level, but at least fucking try. Do you know what I mean? So, right. So let's get Rodimus out of the um, trailer. And basically to do that, you just pull the fucker out like that. Okay. So now, now we're left with two parts. Rodimus has got no back wheels to speak of. Would have been nice, maybe. Oh, actually, he's got those two on the bottom. But would have been nice to maybe have like some inner wheels, maybe. But do you know what? Whatever. That, that's Rodimus. Let's set him off. Let's talk about the combat trailer. Now, the combat trailer is, is very, very simple. What you do is you just split it down the middle by applying pressure. He says, not convinced of his own bullshit. There we are. A little bit of pressure. Split that in half like that and then raise up the jaw gun actually let's let's bring this back a little bit there we are bring that up like that and then extend the combat deck weapon and then that's it okay that is the combat deck now let's let's get into the the bone of contention here that is the uh the blast shields the blast shields are supposed to sit in these gaps just here okay so let's stick one of them in right that's how they're supposed to sit if you can imagine it on both sides okay but because this is me we're talking about here this is, that's not going to happen because the fuckers don't fit so for the purposes of this review imagine that doubled right and that's how that's supposed to fucking look now <laughs> that's that's about as much as i can do that's about as much as i can do with it um this this just here. This side has got a, uh, a hinge pin all the way through that section there. This side didn't. And you can see just here, I've had to put in, as, as I said, some wire to actually go all the way through there and all the way to the end to actually allow that hinge to function. Otherwise, this again would just pop straight out of my hand. Um, that's the combat deck, ladies and gentlemen. It's It's not... It's playability value was all right, I guess, but I, it doesn't really say a lot to me. It, it's just like we need to fill negative space and like, all right, let's just put a gun in there that will never, ever, ever turn up, ever. Um, maybe it turned up once in the cartoon. I think but that was probably a fucking animation error knowing knowing that. Lot. Um, yeah, that's that's the, that's about as much as I can say for that. Let's Let's get into the real fucking guts and glory of this review, ladies and gentlemen, which is not this pile of shit. It's this pile of shit, okay? Now, <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. Right. <laughs> the transformation for Rodimus is not complicated. It's not um, the sort of transformation that you're likely to forget after the first attempt. And it's also not fun either. There is, there is literally less than fuck all to this, right? Because Rodimus, if I was to stand it up like that, it's pretty much fucking half done already. Sorry, T. T is life. Right. Okay, let, let, let's just zoom out again so you can see what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay, so the transformation. These two sections just here. Extend these forward. And that's the feet done. So basically that's that's the legs done, right? That's most of the robot fucking there already, right? This entire bonnet section, extend this forward okay separate these two sections with the wheels and the wheel arches away from the body okay 
and then spin the entire bonnet section around like this collapse the entire thing back in on itself stand it up lift up the head okay there we are now this thing here the spoiler is supposed to come off and then go oh christ hang on let's turn the uh, speakers off my computer the spoiler detaches and then connects to the top just like that okay so that's how his spoiler sits now that is g1 rodimus prime ladies and gentlemen and he is fucking piss weak right <laughs> let's, let's give him his gun let's try and give him a little bit of definition right let's give him his fucking gun right that makes absolutely no difference to the enjoyment factor you will not receive in this toy right i thought when I had this years ago, I thought my one had a paint defect or hadn't been painted properly, right? Because, let's try and zoom in a little bit. Why is that not? There we go. I thought my one had a paint defect on the eyes um, because I thought they haven't painted the eyes properly, right? No, no. This one has exactly the same fucking paint problem and it just makes it look like he's woken up. Rodimus Prime has woken up after a very, very long sleep. That's bleary-eyed Rodimus right there. I know they're supposed to try and invoke the image that he's, he's older, he's wiser, he's whatever. He just looks like he's spent 36 hours of sleep. He's overtired. Overtired Rodimus right there, right? Now, in terms of articulation, the arms do not go around to full 360. Because this fucking thing at the back. Now, I thought he kind of looked better if you put the spoiler back down there. And Rodimus kind of looks a little more in proportion with himself. It doesn't matter the fact that you still can't fucking move the arms around anyway, right? This arm's very, very loose. This arm ain't much better. The legs have absolutely no articulation whatsoever. They're, they're, they're a solid piece. And the head of my one won't stay up. Probably because Rodimus is a borderline fucking narcoleptic. I don't know. Right? That's how I tend to display my Rodimus. With the spoiler a little bit further down to better uh, invoke his uh, previous Hot Rod persona. Um, doesn't matter if I had the spoiler there. Or if I have it here. Which is apparently where they want you to have it. Right? Rodimus. Is still a stinking pile of shit. Now, considering he's supposed to go up against Galvatron, a toy which is three times fucking wider than this and much taller, it's kind of like the the Fortress Maximus and Scorponok scaling, just on the like on the really, really, really like sort of far end of that scale, like the extreme end of that scale. I don't know why these are moving like that. There must be. I, I, I don't really want to take this apart to try and fix this, um, but <laughs> that does not inv invoke much confidence in me, quite frankly. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that is G1. That, right, is G1 Rodimus Prime. That is the leader of the Autobots after Optimus Prime. Now, you, you can say what you will. He's the chosen one. He's, he's the rightful heir to the Matrix. I... <laughs> I'm going to hold judgment on that, quite frankly, um, because he's not doing a lot to convince me otherwise. Really. He, he's not hes not saying Autobot leader to me, quite frankly, this toy. What he is saying to me is ropey, ropey piece of shit. Lazy, lazy offering from the 1986 line. But ladies and gentlemen, that right there is G1 Rodimus Prime. And if you want to go all in, if you want to go all in, then fuck it. Give it your comeback deck, right? Give him the combat deck, and there we are. Does that increase your enjoyment of this figure? Because it certainly didn't for me, right? There he is. There is G1 Rodimus Prime in his combat deck, looking just a little bit piss weak and a little bit pathetic. Having said all those negative things, however, for some reason, I like this toy. And I, I think I like the toy for the alt mode, definitely, because let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, the robot mode is severely fucking lacking in enjoyment, entertainment, or anything, quite frankly. But that's my review. That is my review for G1 Rodimus Prime. I do hope you enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gerald Gavin Barry, also known 
As Wolfgang one saying, I'll be back in the near future with more reviews, seven days, this, that, and the other one. I eventually get my ass to get to do the uh, this, that, and the other. Um, until then, t- take it in. Take t- take a moment to take in the glory of of this shambles of a, of a toy. And um, yeah, and I shall see you soon. Until then, take care. Two girls.